So we are getting ready to harvest some more honey. This is our second time this season so far. Let's see what we got. So this is a hive that we split from one of these and then we bought a new queen and then was it last week Gary that we checked on them? Yes. Yeah and so they accepted her everything looked good. So are you looking for brood now? I am and we have uh, cleaned out polished cells in this so area. That's, they're cleaning them out prepping those cells for her. They clean out the honey to make room for the queen to lay? Yes. Amazing. Oh yeah, I saw her. Oh good, I spotted her with my own eyes before you even pointed it, so I'm there getting better. You, you saw her moving around in her little zigzaggy motion, oh, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what I want. Lots of protein here. Nice. All in multiple colors. And we got the entrance reducers just in case. Awesome. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, so that plastic thing is a queen excluder to help keep her down there, and that way then the honey will be on these top ones and you don't have to worry about smashing her, killing her, or doing anything, right? Correct. She won't fit through it, but the workers will fit through the excluder. Okay, so they can still go up and work the top box. Mm -hmm. All right, we're less than 50% capped. Okay, so we'll leave it. Remember, Less than 50. Yeah. Oh, that looks pretty. The other side too. That is not sugar syrup. Good. Some good honey again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't fed them in months. Since we just extracted, yeah. we won't get a lot, but we'll get enough to practice. Cool. That is over 50, but not enough to extract. Uh, I'd say 70? Yeah, it looks about three quarters of it. Mm -hmm. Very nice. No, not yep. close enough. Okay. We have bought two more from um, tearing okay. them. Yeah, we'll need them at some point. Okay. Cap. We had them last week. We should still have them. Well, you like I've to work seen, with no gloves or nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a different story. I've seen some crazy ones in hives. Oh, now that yeah, is 100% on the But the other another. side isn't. Ah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. Wow. That is close enough. Enough. I think so, too, yeah. Lightly brush them back in the box. And then I will walk this over to Brandon. Oh my gosh. There you go. Who has an empty box. And what you said? Chill the brood. Not yeah, not okay, if it's not closer inside where they regulate the temperature better, right? Yeah. What is the, the rule of thumb you say if it's more that, than what? That is close enough. Yeah, Over okay. 90%. 90 you said? 85, 90 ish? Right. Depends on where you're at, like how much honey you need or if you're. Yeah, and the next one looks good too. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
brood in all three stages. The reason the rule of threes is important is you should have 1,200 eggs, mm -hmm. uh, 2,400 larvae, and all we got is honey. Yep. And some late stage brood. No fresh brood. So what stage was the brood at that we saw up top? It was all pupa. So then we don't see any queen down here, but what about those queen cups that look like hatched out? Okay. To let them move to wherever they need to, right? Yes. Or if there's one or two or whoever's in here. This is good. I like it. I'm learning. And learning to think about the stuff. We don't need any entrance reducers. So tell us again what this entrance reducer is for. Now, we've got way too many aggressive bees in here. When we start stealing honey from any hive, the likelihood of them robbing from others okay. rather than actually going out in the field and working is very high. Okay. So by reducing the entrance, uh, they will not get overrun. It's not so much that they'll steal all their honey, it's they'll kill them to get to it. Okay. That is a challenge we do not want. All right. All right, so we're gonna harvest some honey. We only got three frames, and we had to get three because of the way that this extractor is built, right? Balance. Balance it out, one, one, and one. It has like a, a try, whatever partition thing. I'll show you guys briefly. So it's kind of split into thirds, so we'll put one frame in each. And because it spins around, or you crank it to make it spin around, um, and spin off the honey, uh, we need to have one frame in each, otherwise it's gonna be uh, imbalanced. So I'm just taking this little tool and poking to break the seal, the, the comb or the wax seal on the honey, so that then when we put it in the frame, it's actually poked, you know, pierced through so that the honey can be able to be um, spun out of the frame. I'm gonna try to do a good job on this so we can get as much as we can since it's just a smaller harvest. And that way we're not just scraping off a ton of the wax or the comb, right? And then it's easier for them to... It is. I told you I got three quarters of a pound from the last harvest. Of wax, yeah? A good baggie full. Nice. Gorgeous. One more. This is the darkest one. This is wildflower honey, you said, right? Yes. Oh, this is no sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Gary, look at the color on this. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh. The smell on this is ridiculous. Pure, delicious, real honey, huh? Whew. Can't buy that at <laughs> It's funny the bees haven't found this yet. Okay, yeah, before they even come out. Hopefully. So now we're using centrifugal force to spin the honey off of these frames into the base of the extractor inside the can. So now all the honey goes there and we'll let it open on this front end here to then drain out what we got. All right. You want to re Yeah, you want to poke some more so we can get more honey? I'll do that. Great. Yeah, this one. 
because there's still some in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna open this up, see what we got, put this little sieve right over top just to catch the last bits of anything. You know, debris, dead bees, bee parts, wax. So this, I would say, looks about a little more than half a gallon. So that's a good, this was good because that way it's like an, a, a mini version for a quickie beginner just to get an idea of what the harvest is like. So three of those little frames gives you about half a gallon. It's not bad, especially for a quick harvest. It's a lot faster to harvest three than 27 frames like we did last oh, yeah. time. <laughs> it was so hot. It was hot out here. Now you're squishing all the comb cells. Any honey that's in it will come out because the comb doesn't mix with the honey. So you'll be able to now. All right, let me stand on this side because I don't want this to fall in. Ready? Go for it. Go. Just little by little, not a lot. Do it like a stream because it needs time for it to filter out the wax from it. All right, so let's go ahead and jar up the honey. I just have a half gallon glass jar, a funnel here, and a strainer. And of course, now there's flies that got in the house that wanna access this honey too. So I'm just gonna pour this through here. And I just have the strainer on it. We already strained it when we got it out of the extractor, but I'm straining it again just in case there's any last bits of uh, wax or anything. This should fill up this jar if not more. And I still have some more. I'll be able to probably fill at least one or two of the little uh, half pint jars. So let me grab a couple of those. Let me grab a lid for that before we get flies. might have enough to halfway fill up another one. Let's see what we have left in here. All right, so that's what we got. From three frames, we got a half gallon, a half pint, and a little bit more, almost a full jar. So not bad for a quick harvest.